uh, usref is nothing but it uh, in it have the name itself like it's a reference variable so we are going to create a new reference uh, this will reduce the time to uh, to find what is the unchanged value uh, to handling the uh, the events so in general if you are going to change some input values at that time uh, we need to use some handle event uh, functions right with the help of we need to get the event dot toggle dot value or some of the click events drag events at all time we need to validate uh, we need to write the synthetic event within the function so this if you are going to use user of at that time we can we don't need to write any of the functions like that so how to implement that so oh, here we already have the input and here as usual we have the unchanged event but what to do uh, we do, i don't want to write this kind of unchanged event so i want to use a ref this ref should be the uh, input ref you can say you can put any in kind of variable you want and other thing in to use ref to import user and create a separate variable called const input ref so whatever we are using here so there is a variable and in right hand side use ref and within the thing in to put none or uh, the default anything value so here i don't know uh, where i'm going to use this particular right in, in our case we are i'm going to use a uh, input tag so within the input tag it have plenty of props uh, normal property tabs so for that uh, i'm i'm using like this so ref is equal to input ref uh, uh, that's all this is the actual implementation after that what i'm going to do i'm going to write on function so you can say this may be the uh, submit button or uh, any the any the button so so in this button i want this input value so in general what we do whenever the input is changed at that time the particular input value written but in my case um, i keep, I, I, i may keep on typing input but we don't need to store anywhere but whenever i click the submit button at that time i will need a actually input value so this is the actual use case so here what i do put console to log of input ref dot current dot value so this particular thing will return a current value for the particular input so go back refresh the page and if you start typing what are you can type but it never written anything when you start clicking uh, this actually this is submit button uh, click on submit button at that time it will return what are the values available here like a test input then you can click on test input it will return the actual value so it will uh, even not 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 only in the function uh, not only in the button click you can get anywhere anywhere in the input reference value like instead of showing like this you can put here save it and here you can see so whenever we are updating this it will uh, keep updating uh, the things here uh, but you can ask the question so why this input ref is not showing here or because we are not disturbing anywhere we are not disturbing the dom if you want to disturbing the dom then you need to put it at least any of the tag as well as you need to store it somewhere in the uh, particular state element first um summit yes so if you start typing test click on submit button then we can get the current value of that we can get the current value of here but in the dom never change why because it's a old value so whenever we are entering the page at that time this input have the old value so how we are uh, getting the input ref dot current value like that we can um, get back the old value of the ref that is actually uh, available in the component if you want to update this into the set title and at this time so we are already using the title component here uh, so for that i am removing here save it so here you are using test and um uh, test title like that putting and it keep on updating right so the value came from the state variable so uh, in this case i never test the input or uh, uh, the user keep on typing right for example the user using on change and as usual in generally we did like this set title right in this case what will happen whenever the user typing a uh, type uh, whenever the user going to press any of the key at that time it start rendering right uh, like a console log of test right so for the timing i i just uh, comment this and go back remove the thing if the user start typing it keep on rendering the things 
so here you can see 45 times it run the thing so it will uh, it will be a problem for us so i don't want this kind of uh, rendering it, ju- it should uh, render only one thing but the time should be the submit time so h- at that time how can i set the title the title value is available in the input but how can i get the value from out of the input so that's a use case for this so at that time you don't need to maintain any of the events you can go with the ref and whenever you are going to submit a button at that time you can get the submit button so here you can see um here you can mention console console log so you should test of something some text right save it go back refresh page start typing it never disturb anywhere it never re render anywhere so so the page should be the should be fast and never disturb the performance and when you click the submit button at that time it will start rendering right so here you can see test run uh, the test console executing only one time this title component executing only one time which means whenever we disturb the particular thing uh, like a test if you type in something it never disturb the dom or it never disturb the particular component why we still not updating so if the user doesn't uh, for example i'm going to search something in the uh, in amazon i'm randomly randomly typing but uh, i don't think uh, still i I'm, i have the proper plan to search a particular product once i have the exact plan and start typing and completing the product name then after that if i click then uh, it should be a only one event if i keep on typing at that time they are keep on giving the suggestion uh, at that time it will the same event again and again calling and they, uh, it will give the a particular response there is two different scenarios if we need auto suggestion kind of thing then we can go with on change if we don't want on change kind of thing we are going to uh, uh, do login something uh, or uh, register something so at that time we are going, we are not using the suggestions right so at that time we can use this kind of things if you using submit button then after that it will update the particular component and it will re-render the things so this is a use case for uh, user right so hope you understood